camera work you're making? Jerk. Jerk. Mm. Don't be good. It's a llama. You have to eat it. Then you have to eat it. Then you have to eat it. Then you have to eat it. Hey, everybody. It's Wednesday, November 18th. It's about three days before gun season. I'm in here in my ghillie suit trying to get it done. A little ground and pound rattling action on the ground. I'm only about 60 yards from my lucky buck tree. I'm actually sitting right where that little buck came through two weeks ago in those doors also. So I hear some branches breaking off to the northeast, but I'm not sure. I'm going to sit quiet. Hopefully something will come through. It's almost for a shooting light, so I better be quiet. It's been about another 10 minutes and there's for sure deer running around down by that creek. I just heard one of them snort wheeze at another and I heard a large branch. It sounded like, like a log knock for a Sasquatch. It was so loud. I'm debating on whether I just kind of pack up my little bit of gear here and sneak down there like a bush. Well, everyone, it's about an hour later. I actually did go up into those woods over there where I thought I heard those deer. Turns out it was actually just ice breaking on the creek. No big deal. I found a really cool spot and I did a little rattle sequence, but nothing came in. Waited about, I don't know, I'd say 45 minutes once I got in there and came back out here after a while. I think I have a better chance of seeing something out here, so. It's still early, you never know the rut's going, so buck could come cruising through at any minute. Hey y'all. It's about 20 minutes to 9. I relocated again. I'm just kind of creeping around here silently still hunting. Now I found um, two fresh rubs back behind me um, in the same general direction where that deer I shot last year went. I'm pretty sure the deer I shot last year cut across this swamp and that's where I lost his blood. But I found 
where this deer crossed and there was a scrape with looked like yesterday's scrape there's no leaves on top of it nothing a couple of deer tracks in it look like he urinated in it so I just crept out into the swamp doing my best to blend in I'm pretty sure that's a buck bedding area every time I go in there there's rubs and scrapes everywhere Two weeks ago I was out here hunting and I actually walked out going in a similar direction and I jumped a deer I believe it was a buck so there's a lot of fresh sign. following along on my journey. I made it about another 75 yards through the really, really thick stuff. I don't know if you can see it, there's a high stem count. When I say that, I mean there's a lot of um, stems per square foot of trees and branches and all kinds of crap. This ghillie suit ain't really made for crawling through the woods, but hey, I don't care. I'm gonna crawl through the woods. So as life would have it, I've been in this pine tree before. And uh, I cleared it out six years ago or something. It's overgrown in here now, but whatever. Do the best I can and maybe. I know I'm in the core bedding area. I know I am. I've been here before and had an encounter. So, uh, you know, it seems like that buck too tall Paul that I saw six years ago, I think he came from out of here. The buck I shot three years ago, I think he came from out of here. Even the buck I shot two years ago, I believe, came from out of here. They always seem to go north, northeast, across this marsh that I just came through, and uh, up into those pine trees that I was sitting next to, and then near my lucky buck tree, and they pass through, basically it's an old overgrown cow pasture out there, to this I formation of timber, with a little creek running through it, and I sit in that, my lucky buck tree is in that I formation of timber that runs north to south, so let's just hope I can catch a buck coming in here for the bedding checking checking for scent checking for does and it's a pretty windy day so I feel confident I can move around and talk a little and uh, I don't know we'll see where this journey takes me I'm having a blast so far so as always please remember to like and subscribe hit that thumbs up button if you leave a comment I'm, I'm always checking the comments I'll, I'll comment you back I better shut up. You never know if a big buck could just come lurking through. So as I'm out here creeping around like a bush, I run into another hunter. So I did a 180 as soon as I saw him. The shitty part is, is he's pretty much in the same tree I shot my doe with in 2006. 2007, I know it was it was later than that. Fuck, 2016. That's when I shot that doe. 2017. I put some trail cameras out here. Had one go missing. Now as soon as I saw this guy right in the same tree that I hunt from, I instinctively thought, man, that's the guy that probably took my trail camera. But logic told me to just respect his hunt I'm gonna do a loop around the same way that I came in I actually dropped one of my crossbow bolts somewhere so I'm gonna go find it ain't much else to do maybe I'll uh, still catch the deer moving through they like to move through here midday so I just hope it didn't ruin that guy's hunt oh well, I probably did I came right out of the bedding area <laughs> I bet he was freaked when he saw a bush appear I was moving slow as heck too. All right, on my way out of here. Hey everybody, sorry for the wind noise, but it's about 10.30, almost 11. And I did a loop all the way around that guy. I doubt he's gonna see any deer. <laughs> oh well, it's public land. Um, I'm just, I took the same path I walked in on in an attempt to find one of my crossbow bolts. If not, no big deal. But if 
I do find it pretty sweet. So thanks for watching everybody. Remember to like and subscribe. As always, share it if you want. Tell your friends. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. All right. You know what, everybody? I can't be done that easily. Not at all. There's hundreds and hundreds of swampland acres out here, otherwise known as prairie chicken land. Now, if you guys look behind me, it's all marsh. If you look at me, I'm a bush. So, <laughs> I'm gonna try to find, um, you know, any kind of fresh deer sign, rubs, scrapes, trails, deer themselves. Um, I'm looking for habitat change. I'm gonna try to get to the back of this marsh. There's a big pine tree I'm eyeballing. Somewhere back in there. And uh, scout along the way and you never know, maybe I could jump shoot a deer or find a buck knocked down with a doe. So this is after all the rut here in Wisconsin. And I got three days to get it done, so I might as well spend as much time as I can and put as much miles on as I can and get it done. So to all you other hunters out there, wish me luck. I wish you guys luck. Maybe we'll see you on the other side. Well, I made it ways back. It's a lot of marsh back here, a lot of old CRP fields. On some farmer's equipment and stuff and uh, kind of on this high point maybe 75 100 yards over to the woods there and I got some really thick red brush and popple trees in there oh west they call them aspens but anyway I'm gonna sit here for a little bit probably eat a lunch drink something do a rattling sequence I'm probably gonna rattle first See if I can draw a big buck out of that timber over there. I'm, if that doesn't work, I'll just move in a little deeper and keep on going. Ground and pound, baby. Hey there everyone. Well, I made it out of the marsh and into a little pocket of mostly maples, but there's a few white oaks in here. Um, there's rubs sporadically, kind of all around. And um, right now the wind is blowing pretty much south, southeast in my face. And uh, I was just about to move. Actually, I was moving trying to get to the corner of this wood lot out to the field but as I moved 20 yards towards the sun or towards the southwest there is a runway of a trail a runway of a freaking cow path uh, you could drive a four-wheeler down it, it
it looks like the deer do drag races down it. It's a straight path. So I decided to come back downwind from it and post up. If I was a big buck, I would cruise that trail. I look, I look down one end and I can just see scrape after scrape after scrape. So that's definitely a deer highway. Probably a freeway. We'll see. Hey everybody, quick update. It's about a quarter to three now, and I'm still in that same awesome spot with that deer highway. Haven't heard or seen anything move yet, but it's just getting to be prime time within the next hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, so I'm still gonna sit here and pretend I'm a bush. Well, it's the last 10 minutes of shooting light. I haven't seen a single thing move. So, I think this is gonna end the hunt. Thanks for watching, everybody.